Hey guys, my name is Blake, also known as Nailed It here on YouTube. Today I'm going to be showing you how to take this boring laundry room and adding this nice shiplap wall as an accent wall for only 20 bucks. Let's get started. First thing to do is to measure for our wall. So my wall is 60 inches by 72 inches, so it gives me about 30 square feet. Next I'm going to open my browser and search Amazon. Then I'm going to search peel and stick wallpaper, or you can just click the link in the description. Find the one you like. My wife picked this one for us. Figure out how much material you need and add it to your cart. Luckily the package was undamaged and this is what we get. Just a simple wallpaper with a double side sticky on the other side. My roll is about 18 inches long, so to cover my entire wall, I'm going to need about four rolls. I'm also not going to be putting anything behind the washer and dryer since you're not going to see that anyway. I first peeled off the entire back of the wallpaper and tried to put it up in one piece. I later discovered a better way to do it and I'll show you that in just a sec. I found it easiest to use a plastic putty knife or a credit card to smooth out the bubbles. Here I started my second layer and as you can see it didn't work so well. The wallpaper started sticking to itself. So instead I just rolled out the wallpaper and took the sticky back off at the same time. This worked a lot better. Once you get to the edge just take your plastic putty knife and squish down the corner as best you can so it's nice and sealed. Then take your knife and slowly cut it down all the way. You only have one chance, so take your time. If you come across an object in the wall, like an outlet or some hookups for your washer and dryer, just take off both of the covers. Here I'm just taking off the outlet cover and then I'm gonna take off the washer and dryer cover. We're just gonna cut around these and then when we put the material back and the covers back on, you won't even be able to tell. If you've been enjoying the video so far, don't forget to nail that subscribe button. I struggled a little bit going around these hoses in the wall, but I just took my time and it still worked out great. You can also just remove them if it's easier for you. When you start cutting around the outlet, just make sure you don't put the knife in all the way to start cutting the wires. You can turn off your breaker if you feel more safe. For me, I just was extra careful. Then I took my putty knife again and pushed out all the air around the outlet to give me a nice seal. After you install the covers again, you won't even be able to tell and it's going to give you a nice clean look. If your finished product looks like this, then congratulations, you nailed it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out any of my other videos for stuff just like this. Talk to you guys later.